Hi guys, welcome back. Today's video, I wanna talk about the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I have mine in the shade four medium. So this is a nice little, it's like an everything thing because it could be used as a primer. It could be used underneath your makeup. It could be used over your makeup to highlight. So we're gonna try it out. I've used this a couple of times. It's been a while, but it's something that like, I constantly see, especially like on Instagram, like people using it. So I wanted to give it a shot. And I'm gonna be using my RMS Beauty Uncover Up Foundation on top of it. Reason I'm using this is because at the moment, this is the only one that actually is my shade because I've gotten some color. So anyways, let's start with this. So this, you unscrew it. It has a doe foot applicator. It is not the cleanest, like, not that it's not the cleanest, it's messy because usually it gets like all over here. That drives me crazy. I don't know why the, like the hole is so small. It could have been a little bit bigger, I don't know. So this is the shade. This is it right here. It's very creamy. It blends out real nice. And I would say the finish is, it's got a glow. It's not super like, it's not like, it's not super dewy and it's not like super in your face, but it's glow, like a, a glow from within kind of look. So that's that. I'm gonna apply it all over my face. So some people do use this as sort of like a tinted moisturizer kind of thing. Cause like I said, it, it is gonna give you a nice glow. See? So that's definitely one way it can be used, especially now in the summertime, like when you don't wanna wear a lot of uh, makeup or anything like that. I think this is really beautiful. Like if you wanna do this and you wanna throw like a concealer and kind of call it. If you're super oily, I don't know how much you're gonna like this because if you're gonna get greasy or oily and this is gonna amplify it, but, so that's one way, which I think is really pretty. Then the next way, I know it looks really shiny cause I do have my lights like on me, but if I didn't, like it wouldn't be so in your face. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go on top with some foundation and So if you're curious, I'm in the shade 33 in the RMS Uncover Up Foundation. And I'm just gonna warm that up. I'm really only gonna press it into certain areas. I'm not looking to be full coverage because I want the shine and the, well, I want the glow to kind of come through. So if I put my foundation over it, it does kind of like make the glow underneath a little more subtle. So like in a sense, overall, it just gives you, it literally gives you that glow from within kind of look. So if you're like one of those people that don't necessarily like a beaming dewy glow, which I get, I know I am always talking about that, but I realize that, you know, some of you may not be into that. So that's totally fine. This is a nice way to kind of give you a glow, but it's not so noticeable. Again, it's more subtle. 
So that's really pretty. Now I'm gonna go on top again on the high points of my face with the same product. Wait, I wanna... So I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna go over top. Again, it's definitely gonna give you glow. Maybe it's a little bit more than just subtle, but it's not dewy. It's very, I don't know. It just makes your skin look like it's very hydrated. You know what I mean? Really pretty. Perfect for somebody who's like a minimalist. This reminds me of, I just realized, the L'Oreal Luminous Serum Tint. I don't know if you guys have ever tried this. This is in the shade Gold. Actually, let me do this. Real quick, so I put the L'Oreal tint here. And now I'm going to put the Hollywood Flawless filter next to it. So, L'Oreal. This one's a little more like a... It's lighter in weight, let's see. You see how that's a, a nice subtle glow and the light catches it good? And then this is the Charlotte Tilbury. So they're pretty similar in finish. Maybe the problem is that this one, the L'Oreal one is kind of close to my skin tone. I don't, oh yeah, wait, hold on. Okay, I have a lighter one in the shade Rose. I think this one might pop a little bit more. Yeah, it pops slightly more. This is the Rose, the L'Oreal Serum, and then this is the Hollywood Filter, Charlotte Tilbury. So there's a nice significant price difference. I will, uh, Type that down below because I don't know it off the top of my head. But, you I mean, you're talking luxury brand and you're talking drugstore. So, this is something to consider if you like this and you're not, you know, you're not ready to spend the money on this one and you want to try something a little more affordable. I personally like these a lot. I've used these a couple of times and I've always been happy with them. Let's do it on the other side. And just to give me a nice little glow. Sorry, somebody's doing housework, like they're fixing something outside. And, well, I have somebody mowing the lawn, and then I have somebody hitting nails with a hammer right next door. So it's a little bit loud. I'm gonna take my RMS on cover up, just quickly conceal under my eyes. I'm actually gonna finish up my makeup and I will be back so you can see what it looks like with everything on. All right, so I filled in my eyebrows. I have a little blush situation going on. I was filming in between. So, back to this guy. The Hollywood Flawless Filter. I think it's, if you wanna, you know, make a little splurge, I would say, Check it out, it's really nice. It comes in different shades. So for example, I'm medium skin tone, so I picked it medium if you're like tan. I think it goes up to like six shades, but it's really pretty. Do you absolutely need it? No, there's other affordable options like I mentioned. Is it worth the hype? Yes, it's pretty, I like it. Again, if you're super minimal, like you just wanna put something on that's gonna make you glow, put your concealer on, brows, lip gloss and kind of be out the door and that's really all you're gonna wear. I think it's worth it if you want a nice glow from within kind of look to your to yourself, to your makeup or anything. So I think it's really pretty. I like it. 
I think I should re reach for this a little more often. As my tan slowly starts to fade, I can kind of reach for it more. You know, I do have foundation on top of it to kind of balance it out because I did get some color, but I think it's really nice. I think it's I think it's a great purchase. If, it, if you're on the market for it, you were curious about it, and you're like, should I get it, should I not? Get it. Um, if it's out of your budget and you want other suggestions, comment down below. I will make a video of, you know, I, I can dupe it for you, basically. So, yeah. All right. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you're having an amazing day. To my new subscribers, hi, how are you? My name is Anna. Thank you for joining me and everybody else on my makeup journey. And I hope to hear from you guys. Make sure you comment down below. Make sure you like. And yeah. All right, guys. Take care. Bye.